Welcome back, everybody, to the Challenge Podcast. We are going over All Stars Episode 7. How are you all feeling about this one? I have mixed feelings. I mean, bummed, bummed by the outcome, but we're down to the end. I was glad to see, like, strategy really take hold because some folks had to make some difficult choices this episode. Yeah, I'm just like, oh my God, the challenge, I mean, the finals already, I'm like, I, I don't know. I guess we'll just get there. Where to start with this episode? I guess we'll start with Derek, who's finally getting some kind of edit in that he's just, you know, not winning things. Yeah, um, I mean, he's he's got a great shot to win the final now that we know he's in it. Um I mean, he's just kind of laid low. It's kind of surprising because everybody knows what a competitor he can be. And he's definitely not somebody I would want to run a final against. Yeah, but we really haven't seen him do a whole lot this season. I found it surprising that we haven't seen a lot of, of Derek so far because yeah. he's a, I feel like he's an actual all-star. He is. Um, it, it feels like the season's going by super fast. Like, it just feels like it's like, wow, like it's already over. Um, so I don't think we've gotten to see a lot from a lot of people. But yeah, this episode, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm glad to see Derek up there. And actually, I do have him as one of the favorites to win the final. I'm, I'm with Dazed on him. How long do you guys want a season to be? Because in the other season, it was too long. I mean, 20, 23 episodes is too much for a shit season. But if the season is good, you know, give us give us 15, I think 12. 16 episodes. I think 12 is the perfect amount of episodes for the challenge. I think. Okay. But yeah, yeah 20 I, is too much. I want to see more Agreed. than I want to see more than 10 for sure. Um cuz this way it just it, there hasn't been enough time for the stories to develop and things to flesh out. Or maybe if they got hour and a half episodes like the real show, maybe they would be a little more fleshed out. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, everything has been so rushed. The other story, I guess, before the challenge was, well, there was a few. There was Nehemiah feeling safe. I guess that was foreshadowing. <laughs> and then we have Everybody's Afraid of Kendall. I should have seen that one coming. Yeah, I just it didn't didn't click in my head in the the start of the episode what was about to happen. The end of the last storyline was Anissa and Jalisa allegedly being friends. That edit came out of nowhere, kind of. Well, not really, but kind of. No, they they talked about it in the last episode how they've been friends for all these years and. It you know uh, we'll get to it, but it's always interesting to see how how loyalties uh, how to say this just how the game is played when you have friendships and how well those friendships are gonna stay together after the game is played. It's always an interesting dynamic to see how that plays out. Any other thoughts before the the daily? Well, we will move on to the daily then, which was the whole jumping on the side of the truck type thing. I, I literally wrote down the question, how many folks are about to get medically DQ'd? <laughs> I was happy You're that really it was really making them work for this money. Yeah, they old are. People. I also well, like, go ahead. I don't know how well those harnesses are strapped up. Because some people were acting like it was a petrifying thing. But like, I don't know, man. If I'm on one of these shows, I know I can't be dying on them. So, like, they got you harnessed in there. You're not going to hit the ground. Just go for it. Just I mean, what was this challenge called? Uh, uh, rig, rig cage pass. Yeah. So, I mean, I think what they were expecting was somebody to just break their rib cage trying to make that jump. And what was it? That third to last jump was pretty, yeah, it was it pretty was. far. So if, if you weren't, you know, six foot tall and had, you know, 
a gate where you could literally just step over to it, you were going to have to make a pretty, pretty far jump and not break your ribs in the process. I mean, you know, you're not going to die, but we've seen some pretty gnarly injuries on the challenge. So there's still that fear of getting hurt. I mean, I'd rather die than break a couple ribs. I'm not going to lie. That would suck. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, who stood out on this challenge? I guess other than Mark, who basically blew away everybody. Um, it, yes, and Ruthie. Yes, they didn't make it to the end, but the amount of just competitiveness to be able to hang on on the side of a moving truck says a lot. Um, again, that's not somebody you want in the final, but props to them. I mean, that's for some of these challengers, you know, it, fairness means something to them and them just giving it their all is something that keeps them out of out of the elimination. Thank God you look like you disagree. <laughs> I mean, it's not disagree. He's right. What he said is accurate. I'm just, I'm not of the school of fairness wins. <laughs> not, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not playing. Uh, I don't know. What's a game where everybody wins? I don't play those games. So, you know, like one person's going to win. So why are we playing all? Let's be fair. No, do what's best for your chance to win. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, but no, I mean, what he said is right. There are people who are just deluded by the idea of let's play fair. Like, come on, you're playing for a half million dollars. Don't, you know, nah, I ain't about that. Yeah, that was kind of the theme of the episode of we're going to keep playing fair. So stupid. Yeah, I'll get to that in a minute when we start talking about that. Um, the challenge, though, I mean, who, who showed up? I don't know. I, I was surprised by just most of the girls not really wanting to even try once they got past uh Gisela's point like there was quite a few of them that were like okay well, I didn't have to I guess yeah but it showed me who really wanted to win uh and who was concerned with actually finishing and I've been high on Kellyanne all season so uh I was happy that you know she showed she was trying to win her well, Ken- it's good to see her like step up and do something because she's been calling herself this like big threat the whole time but hasn't really done anything so I'm glad that she can she can claim that now I still ain't feeling her. I feel like her whole edit's been not as good as Kendall. That was about her whole edit this season so far. Yeah, I guess the other people that stood out, Derek, I guess he fell just a little short to Mark in this one. He finally thought he was going to win one. And then, yeah, I mean, the Big Easy had a big episode. He Man. He's doing better now than when he was younger. At least there's that again this goes back to how big of a gate you have the dude is so tall and so much legs he literally just skipped across I mean there was no effort into that and I was worried going into it that some of the bigger guys weren't going to make the jumps but I didn't didn't take into account how much being tall would help jumping from you know brick to brick but unfortunately, he was still last place, even though he <laughs> did better than normal. Him and Gisela were the last place. Going into the elimination, Mark and Kellyanne were the winners and automatically make the final since it's coming already. I, w- I will say I was disappointed with Kendall's performance. I thought she would do a lot better in that daily than she did. I mean, she can be good at everything. Fair. So I guess this was the drama fan guy with the whole let's play fair. Gisela wanted people to go in that hadn't been in already to go against her. And Nisa wasn't feeling it. Nobody. Well, she has to sing her song. And Nisa doesn't want to go home before the final. Exactly. That's, That's what we saw. That. That's what we saw again, per <laughs> usual. Yeah, I didn't really understand Gisela's pitch, honestly. I don't understand the pitch at all. I don't understand. Let's play fair. I want to go in against people who have... When in the the history of the challenge has that even been remotely a thing? No, normally it's a rookie gets thrown in till they lose. And then like all the rookies get thrown in. But wasn't she also like defending Derek? Derek hasn't been in there, but she was like, oh no, but he would have won if Mark didn't. So he he doesn't count for fairness. 
right and it, and it, yeah on top of being fair it's like selectively fair so i i just didn't understand the pitch i didn't understand why anyone would want to go with it unless it benefits their game too so uh, if, you know i think she, if you, she perceived him to be the weakest that's my guess if you haven't watched the aftermath there's been discussion of this in the prior episodes about fairness and how somebody how well somebody did in the daily and not putting them into the elimination. Like that was a huge part of the game until they knew that the final was next. And I feel like once they knew that the final was next, everything went out the door. Fairness doesn't count anymore, nor should it because we're playing for $500,000. But there at the beginning of the game, that was a strategy that they were utilizing to you know, kind of campaign to keep each other out of the elimination. Well, but again, they don't once... have Katie here anymore to volunteer herself. <laughs> yeah. Other, also, Nehemiah has been pretty beastly this season, so I don't really understand from Gisela's viewpoint. Well, I mean, she didn't. Want, well, I do understand why she didn't want him in, but like, I guess I, all I could think is she wanted yes because Darrell's a monster, and I can't imagine she thought it, it was going to be Darrell with her little plan but that was a selfish plan by her like don't let her act all noble she wanted yes in there because she thought he was the weakest guy and you know i mean i wanted yes in there too because he's so fucking boring to be honest yeah but it's it's obviously a climbing challenge like you can see that you're gonna have to climb do you really want a climber well they didn't know that right then i don't think so not at the deliberation yeah Hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But they did vote in Nehemiah, which hold oh, this is what broke up Anissa and Giselle's friendship, allegedly. <laughs> I mean, is this just a storyline for storyline's sake? I I did ask um, how much do they have to pay to Anissa to make that shit ass decision? So I'm wondering if they like paid her just to make that decision and do all that voting chaos just for the drama on the show i mean she really should have just voted for yes instead of nehemiah no no drama from any of this i i maybe i'm the only (laughs) one it was contrived yeah i didn't feel any drama at all i didn't i could give a good shit which way she went with it i didn't care um i don't really understand like i don't i just don't i don't understand all of this it's so confusing and I mean, I was I was sure Anissa was going in. I don't think her pitch kept her out. I don't think it was her going. I'm gonna throw the competition because everybody knows she ain't gonna go in there. And throw <laughs> that was a terrible. What is this gameplay? This is all just terrible gameplay. Y'all all, all crazy. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Well, Nehemiah picked Kendall to go in. It was the Which, right choice. Yeah, it was. However, they got upset and lost to Big Easy and Giselle. Man, uh, thinking outside the box, one. Um, props to Big Easy for putting the chains up the way that he did. I don't know if I would have thought about that. Um, I actually thought when after they won by ringing the bell, I thought both of them had to ring the bell, but I was mistaken. Um, yeah, I thought that too. I, I thought both of them should have had to been, you know, been able to climb up there and ring the bell in order for them to win. Wasn't the case. But still, props for thinking of putting the chains up that way. Does anyone understand why I'm, I'm still, why was Gisela so mad about it? Like, I, I don't even, I just don't understand why she was that mad about Nehemiah getting thrown in. That wasn't the dude she was hooking up with. That wasn't. Like, so they didn't play fair. Why does this, I don't, I just, sorry. I just don't get people's train of thought sometimes. But not only that, but like, why is it that big of a deal that you're going to end a friendship that you obviously have outside of the game? That's why I don't think it's real. I think I don't I think it was for TV's sake. They ain't that tight if their friendship's that fragile. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> that day. I mean, I, I guess I can see it both ways. Gisela seems like somebody who might, you know, end the friendship yeah, because, of, 
because of something like that but it just it's so far away from my my way of thinking as far as games go like i could never do that somebody could stab me in the back and i'd probably be okay with it in three days i'd still be pissed but i'm the same it takes me about three days to get over it but but i'll be i'll be pissed till then how about you meg it depends who and what it is (laughs) i can be known to hold a grudge So, like, normally I would be, uh, cool, the underdogs won uh, an elimination. But, like, since I'm already not looking forward to this final, it just makes me look forward to the final even less. Because we lost two favorites that I want to see run the final. I mean, how far is Gisela and Big Easy going to go in this final? Let's be honest. Well, she's hurt now, too, right? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even understand that. I mean, I went back and watched how she fell, and she landed solid both feet hit the ground at the same time the load was distributed maybe she just pulled a muscle it maybe i mean i i watch a lot of uh injury stuff and it just didn't look like anything i'd seen it wasn't like anisa threw her in it wasn't like anisa said i'm voting for you like i don't think she would have done that she just didn't go with her plan of who she wanted in which was a shitty plan anyway I just, yeah, there, there wasn't enough drama for editing, so I think they just having to con- conjure things. But speaking of Anissa, can we really not pretend like it's such a big deal that she made a final with twenty fucking people are making the final? <laughs> and yeah, there was what twelve? Good job, Anissa. You really twelve did. people. You lasted two weeks, two eliminations, <laughs> something like that. Like, well done against fifty-year-olds. Yeah. yeah. Well, going into the final, who do you think are the favorites? Like, I was trying to think edit-wise who the favorites are. And I feel like, unless it's somebody under the radar, like Derek's going to win, even though that would be stupid editing, I think. I feel like Mark has had a good edit, unfortunately. I feel like Anissa has actually had one of the better edits. Alton. But outside of them, it's kind of, I don't know. I guess um, Jimmy is like a dark horse from just playing a political game and winning, but I think she's going to get screwed by Big Easy in the final. Who, Jemmy? Yeah. Yeah, she's had um, more of an edit than most. I feel like she's had more screen time confessionals and stuff, so. Um, Mark, for sure. Um, his edit has been really, really good this season. Um, you know I dislike Mark. Uh, I don't want to see him win, but the way the editing has been, it looks like he may do so. Um, I don't see easy winning. I don't see yes winning because of his edit. I'm rooting for Darrell, but it looks like he might, you know, flop out of the final with the medics. So I'm hoping that's not the case. And then for the women, I mean, Kellyanne for sure. She's got a lock right now. I agree. I think Derek will win. Actually, I do think Derek will win. I think this is a whole... Um, Switcheroni? Yeah, they're just, you know, the godfather. He was part of, like, one of the producers of the show. So, you know, he's 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 probably got a lot of pull and a lot of say-so. So, you know, I'm sure, you know, I feel like he was going to get a good edit no matter what. I kind of felt that way coming into the season. Um, other than him, I don't think any of the guys have gotten a major edit where it's like super obvious they're going to win. I just think Derek's the best equipped uh, to, to, to win this final. Uh, And on the girl side, for sure, Kellyanne. And as weird as it sounds, I I think I'm having Anissa right behind Kellyanne. So um, those are the two. I forgot about Ruth. Especially if we can, if we can uh, assume that he was kind of throwing that one challenge where he was gassing out, I think he's a good contender to win. Nick, can you can you explain why it doesn't make sense for Derek to win, like as far as the editing goes? I mean, it's not that it doesn't make sense. I just think it would be lame editing to have him basically have no edit and then winning the final. I mean, we already saw this with Amber B, and it sucked. It's keeping you on your toes. Not really. <laughs> you, I think there's still going to be like a purge. I there's mean, too many people still. 
Well, it seems like they're doing it like that mini final they had where there's going to be like a team of six and then it's going to break down into duos or something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, TJ said the, you're in the final. Like yeah, but 100%. the first like, round of the final could be a purge. Well, yeah, that's that's what Nick was saying. Yeah. It's like the mini final. I think we'll lose like six people at the end of the next episode. Which I, I'd be okay with that. I I like the I. Oops, you went on mute taste. Um, an elimination that gets rid of, you know, three or four people where they don't even get to make the final. Yeah. I like the, that way of doing it better. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Like I've said before, final episodes aren't really my favorite thing as it is. So then seeing all these old people or out of shape people running the final isn't really that exciting. Isn't it? No. <laughs> mm, maybe some of them, but not maybe half of them, but there's 12 people. I mean, the, the first purge in the final might just be who gets taken off on a stretcher at this point. If they were all out of shape, I think it'd be great. I would but agree with that, yeah. I think because a few of them are in really good shape, and a lot of them are just in mad shape. It makes it a little less, you know, uh, suspenseful. But yeah, I mean, that, take a bunch of big easies and throw them in there. Yeah, this is going to be a phenomenal final. Best final of all time to watch. I mean, the preview has me worried because it legit looks like a grueling final. Like, that looks tough to do. And the preview showing Darrell sitting on the ground calling for a medic. I mean, if Darrell is gassing out in it, I mean, what does that say about everybody else? True. Yeah, that almost seems like it has to be to throw you off, too. They, they, yeah. Like, I feel like he's calling a medic for somebody else. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I'm excited to see it, though. I've thoroughly enjoyed this season. Again, the music has been 100% great. Uh, the scenery, uh, the cinematic views has been top-notch. I really want that house. That's my dream house. <laughs> yeah, I think overall it's been ever entertaining. I just hope they ha find a happy medium of episodes, median of episodes for both of these shows. Because Tony's too much and Nine is too little for... Is that why this one was so short? I don't know. It's just a, it's a, a, a dry, not a dry run. It's just the first run, you know? They weren't sure if they were going to get re up for next season or not, which I think they have. Um, so just a, what, what is that called? A pro, not a promo, but a, I don't know what they would call the it. The original season. Like a pilot season. Pilot, pilot, yeah. pilot season. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Hopefully they add a few more episodes to the next season. I mean, I'm, I'm totally down for it. I'm love seeing all these, all these old castmates. And it, again, if you haven't watched the aftermath, it's even better getting to see it with the all-stars cast because we get to see some really old footage that they're talking about. Highly recommend it, but I hope they bring all these, these older folks back and get rid of folks like Fessy and Casey and Amber bees and the rest they of the big all brother. Already been uh, uh, reported to be on the next season. Josh. Yeah. I can deal with Josh. I can deal with Josh. Brother viewers. Big Brothers lose their own viewers. They need to try and get their Big Brother viewers. <laughs> well, any final thoughts or predictions? Enjoyed it. Eric and Kellyanne. I hope it's not Kellyanne. <laughs> I might not watch next season of Kellyanne. Yeah. If, if Nisa can get a win, maybe we can stop <sighs> hearing her sob story. True. That's fair. Yeah. A long shot is definitely. I think she has a shot. Her. She has a shot. I don't think she's as long a shot as half the people, honestly. <laughs> yeah, maybe only Kellyanne and Ruthie. I'd like to see Ruthie win. I love her. Built for endurance. Yeah, I love yeah, Ruthie too. Get on my nerves. <laughs> she's that. I, I like her. I don't not like her. She just kind of gets on my nerves. Well, on that note, we shall end it there. <laughs> I'll see everybody next week for part one of the final, I believe.